And today, I'm going to tell you more about how you can automate your GitHub workflow with robots. GitHub have a, one of the best API. I think one of the best out there. So there are things like GitHub applications. You can name some of them like Greenkeeper, Sentry, ZenHub, Travis CI, Cutco, StyleCI, whatever, whatever, whatever. There is a lot of them. You can check them out on github.com slash marketplace. What is important is that GitHub applications are first class actors within GitHub. That means that they can do almost anything that regular users do, which means that they can command under issues, open new PRs, change files, create commits, and so on. And what is important is that they work with granular permission in building webhooks. However, it's too complicated. Validating and receiving webhooks might be an overkill if you want, for example, build a simple application that will greet you, uh, your new contributors to your repository. And people from GitHub understood this problem, and they want to simplify the process of creating new robots. So they built a nice framework with such a nice logo, and you can check it out on probot.github.io. So the name is Probot, and what is Probot? Probot is a framework for creating robots with Node.js, and it takes care of receiving and validating webhooks. So actually, it takes out of the scene of uh, all of this complicating logic and lets you concentrate on building something that you have in your mind. So actually, it opens an ability to script GitHubs. Like, you can watch for changes, receive some meta information, analyze it, and trigger an action in response. How it works? Actually, Probot is an express application under the hood that deals with GitHub API. So let's take a look how, uh, on a simple example of super tiny gentle bot uh, that will uh, greet uh, everyone who opens the new issues. Uh, as a default new robot, you can do this with uh, npx create uh, probot app, exactly like you do with uh, create React app if you are a React developer. Uh, and in index.js file, you should export a function that takes a uh, robot as a parameter. So in this function, you can put all of this logic uh, that you want to build. So uh, for example, we are subscribing for uh, opening every issue and then pass a handler. This handler is asynchronous and it takes a context. Context contains some meta information about event that just happened. So, uh, we check if uh, we, we retrieve body from issue, uh, and then we check if uh, body includes things, we answer, you're welcome. Otherwise, we answer things. Then we create new command in this context of this issue and publish it with uh, context.github.issue create command. And people actually use robots. They automate them. Uh, their daily uh, work and save them a lot of time. For example, the most popular one is a probot stale. Uh, the stale bot closes issue after some period of inactivity, like no one commands under this issue, it's uh, not relevant anymore, so we close it. Another example is welcome bot that greet uh, every uh, new contributor to your repository, like if a user open an issue or pull request for the first time to your application, this bot would greet them. Also, if uh, their pull request uh, will be merged, uh, this bot will uh, publish uh, congratulations uh, to this new contributor. Uh, another example is settings bot. Uh, this bot allows you to keep your repository setting inside of your repo, inside the settings YAML file uh, in a GitHub folder. And this opens us an ability to, uh, for your contributors to make a pull request to the settings of your repository. And even more, actually, you can move 
uh, issues between different repositories, uh, auto-label them, get rich CI reports, lock threads, require updating docs, sync forks between fork and upstream, uh, and more. You can check out more awesome bots on proba.github.io slash apps. And uh, what I wanted to do with this talk is uh, to encourage you to try this uh, framework to build your own bots. Like, this is an amazing idea. Give it a chance. Try it. This could save you a ton of your time. This can automatically handle uh, your routine tasks. So I hope after this talk, we will see more useful robots. And some of them are going to build by you. Thank you.